but amazingly Tua weighs only four pounds less for the distance in 19 seconds. Tua going for that left hook. Great right coming forward. And I think Tua's in big trouble. Apart from Lewis, he loves that overhand right. He's got the problem. What happens if one of those lads are here? He's got fast hands, he hasn't got fast feet to her. That's two up and going and then look for that right hand and punch down with it to get the power. Complete. He found it very, very difficult. The land is much like the first fight with the Problems to us. Palou is doing the right thing, keeping a long range, just peppering over them. Look. At the moment. The good to hit. But he's not worried about things like that. It's part of the game. He needs to keep himself interested, doesn't he? He got it caught up in the ropes that time, too. Hey, okay, for Britain. Well, he's going to get down on that low, it's a difficult part, but this catch has proven to it, he's getting closer. They keep him away. The 12 rounds, so, Lanich is not really putting it out in any game, no more than a glancing blow, though. Just with the right hand as well, and he's got a pretty good uppercut if he ever gets... But Lou's not throwing out the pointers that he needs to do. Just finding little angles. Looks very close to a ground. Big finish to the round from Lewis. And he did so far so good for Lewis. He was excellent in the first round. Two. We do want to see Lewis starting to double up on that jab. The power and no more. Two has been out box though in the past. But I know like my sky have as well. Fellas have been the Lewis. See if he'll tie it towards the end. You understand what you're doing? This is for what? To feel again a bit frustrated, a bit anxious in the tour corner. He's missed. It's round five. Campus, but he's around his peak at this time. Dominant at the moment. It's largely a negative exercise for me to win here to nullify tour, and then he'll come on strong. I think they want to say well, he's just picking two apart. Just letting them start to throw in some glassy combinations. Paddock little successes for two. At the moment, it's looking as if two doesn't go. Yeah, Lennox is definitely giving him a boxing left lesson. Uh, taking away. And Lennox, if he keeps doing this, he's going to run away with this. You got to get close to the both hands with this guy. Okay, come on. One of the good left hooks that he landed, but Lewis took it well. Well, he is. I think that's what we thought he would have done right from the start. He's never... ...last couple of years as well. He's only boxed about seven rounds in the last three. Make it more competitive. But it's going to make more of a fight to take the fight to two. He doesn't have. But ...contest in there strategically against the man. You know, he's doing what it takes to win and make two a... You know, two at the moment. He range with the artillery, David Tua, changing the angle. Look at that punch. He's got balance a moment there, Lewis. Well, maybe in it. Boxing lesson at the moment from Lennox Lewis. Rounds in the back. It's not exciting. I can remember a guy called Muhammad Ali. with both hands, he's not going to try and let Lewis off the hook, and he's giving Lewis <laughs> and just boxed nicely, used the jab, never really had to up the tempo with that. Fears <laughs> now, the confidence gone, that looks a man who's second by the punches he's taken. Man and boy.
fans who want to see World War Three every time they come to a boxing match. I mean, I've got massively ahead on my scoreboard. 10, 12 rounds, unless one or two howls. It's Lewis, still number one. Big great hand. It's a shot up here. I think he might have won every round on every round. Proved he is your, a tremendous champion. And, and Clark Jaffa scores at 118 to 110. All